I'm actually well versed in peeing on people. So am I. I like that. <laughs> we have that in common. So I'm trying to find myself in San Fran, and I'm working with a kinky pseudo real estate agent who specializes in helping people find their perfect getaway. Some of the great spaces we have here, one place, uh, the Arab American Geisha Experience is a host that's pretty much going to give you a lovely tea ceremony along with your stay. Wow. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm Carly. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Jenna. Looking festive. <laughs> this is cool. And I noticed that you have a stripper pole. That's like a good addition to really any home, like kinky or not. And these ones are the ones that you can like move them around. What is your place offering? A live playhouse. There's a place for tea. There's a piano. There's an awesome couch right here with a little TV. <laughs> There's a whole fully stocked kitchen. So what do I get for booking a night here? Uh, I prefer books, and then I would serve tea. It, it would just be me in different costumes, and just entertaining. I wanted to open up my place for free expression. Kink b and is a new thing, so it doesn't have to be just kinky, you know? How much does it cost to stay here? 500 a night. For one room? Yeah, for one room. What I liked about the space was that the host was really nice and welcoming, and I thought it was nice that she offered to serve tea. I like tea. What I didn't like about the space was that it didn't seem really that kinky, you know? Like, I'm looking more for a place to sort of explore my sexuality, and that just seemed like someone's house. Also, I wasn't born yesterday, so I'm not gonna spend $500 just leaving a bunk bed in someone's living room. <laughs> So, does the SF kink scene have anything else to offer besides a precarious stripper pole in a cramped living room? Another great space I'd like to show you is uh, the Asian Leather Masters. Basically, they have a, a regular guest room, but they also have one of the most cram-packed with gear spaces we have in the city. Hey. Hello. How are you? Welcome to our B&B. Oh, thank you. I'm Carly. Nice to meet you. I'm Sir Boyd. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Carly, I'm Thomas. Thomas, nice to meet you. Wow, there's a lot going on in here. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> Most everything happens in the dungeon. Yeah. I want to see the dungeon. That sounds really exciting. Wow, this is magical. <laughs> This is where we put good boys. Does the slave come <laughs> with the dungeon? Sometimes. This is so cozy. I really like it. This like yeah. so cute little like boudoir dungeon. If I decide to rent your space, what do I get for my money? You get the space and all the gear. Um, if you want to add on doms, then you can add those on. Or a slave. <laughs> How much do they cost? Um, 200. Okay. <laughs> it's also kind of sexier than most dungeons. Like, it feels like you want to have sex here. You know, like, a lot of dungeons I've been to, it's like, how many people have, like, jizzed on this carpet? <laughs> <laughs> this place isn't bad. I can totally see myself consensually beating someone to near death here. How much does it cost to stay here? Um, it costs $200 to rent a room, the room, and 100 per hour for this room. And. If I stayed here, what do you think I would get out of it? Like, do you think that I would find myself sexually? Well, we mostly see men here. I really liked this place. Um, it's so cozy. I love their, like, little boudoir dungeon. The only thing I didn't think was perfect about this place was that it's very gay male-centric, so it's not really ideal for me to find myself here. So I think I should keep looking and try and find somewhere that's more geared toward female sexual exploration. Thankfully, my next stop seemed like it could really be the one. I have to show you Catalyst while you're here, because Catalyst is, uh, it's big. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Carly. Christopher, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Come on in. Welcome to SF Catalyst. Enter into our main, uh, play space. This is enormous. How many people do you think could have sex in this room at one time? <laughs> Well, um, our capacity is 100 people. 
What's your favorite thing about the space? Um, I like that it has the right feeling to play in. Right, so this is just about restraining somebody, obviously. It's about restraint, it's also about humiliation. This is the only room in the facility where we allow um, piss play. I'm actually well-versed in peeing on people. So am I, I like that. <laughs> we have that in common. So what's the price tag for this? For an individual, during the daytime, on a weekday, it's as low as $50 an hour. What I like about the play space is how much equipment it has, way more than most other dungeons that I've been in. I also like that it has a skylight. What I don't like about the space is that it's maybe too big. I don't think it's the perfect option for sort of relaxing and chilling out with like a casual spanking once in a while. Nothing seemed quite right. I was starting to get frustrated, scaling urban mountains and nowhere close to finding the perfect kinky getaway. Talk about an anti-climax. But Ryan had one more idea. What if I want the total immersive kinky vacation experience? Like, what if I want the eat, pray, love of Dungeon? Mistress Couple space in upstate New York, La Domain. It is a get away from it all. And I'm from upstate New York, so I'll be like going back to my roots. Yeah, maybe find kinky roots up there.